Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. A few moments later. What I heard was a continuation of the same rhetoric, the same endorsement of political violence that we've seen from Donald Trump for years, as you pointed out. It goes even farther back. We are all desensitized and inured to the extraordinary, remarkable, and very, at times, un-American and threatening things that the former president is saying. We can't take him you know, look at what he's saying and think, oh, well, he didn't, we're, we're going to be accurate for this. We're going to say he was referring to the auto industry. We have, we just have to win this election because he's even predicting a bloodbath. What does that mean? He's going to exact a bloodbath? There's something wrong here. We did not miss the full context. This was not some meandering off message comment. This is his message. Obviously, he's talking about a bloodbath for America. It's laid out in the terms of it. And these idiots uh, on Twitter, uh, these idiots uh, on, 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 on cable news, these idiots on Sunday shows, well, I have a president, you know, he was talking only about the auto industry and this is one more, it's just <laughs> Let me say that at 6.15 a.m., it's just <laughs> He knew what he was doing. We're not stupid. Americans aren't stupid. He was talking about a bloodbath. With such uproar over Trump's remarks, you would think his critics would have never used a term like bloodbath in the past. Think again. But as Politico.com reports tonight on the, quote, bloodbath at the RNC. As part of the, quote, MAGA drive to take over Maricopa County. And the headline refers to it as an impending bloodbath. Coming out of Iowa, they were promising that this was effectively going to be a bloodbath. Not only is it going to be a bloodbath, but after they leave New Hampshire, it's a bloodbath on her home turf. That's really and tough. The midterm elections may not be the bloodbath for Democrats that's been predicted. Joe Biden was just talking the other day about, you know, his concerns about a negative blood bloodbath. And this is probably going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be a bloodbath in November. It yeah. would be a bloodbath. Not uh, they could see a yeah. bloodbath, too. The Republican Party will be destroyed. It's going to be a bloodbath. We're gonna a bloodbath at the ballot box. I say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. What Trump really said. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal. Those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those guys if I get elected. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. 